There's a lot of anime and it needs to be dubbed. Does it? <laughs> you told me to say that, and I was like, I disagree with this statement. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to We Gonna Do What? I disagree with my own statement in the intro. <laughs> there is a lot of anime that needs to be dubbed. There is a bunch, but not all of it. We didn't, I didn't, you didn't say all the anime needs to be dubbed. I don't even know what I said. I, you just told me what to say, and I, my, my brain was like, say it. And I was like, <laughs> and that's how our friendship works. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna get back into actual nerdy topics today. Biggity back, biggity back, biggity back, y'all. Really, really, really brief. I do want to mention that this week is the last week of season two of weekday one up. We're gonna take a five week break. Let me check this really quick. I need to start saying the actual date we come back. We're gonna be back on August. Was it 23rd or 16th? Wait, okay, it ends. The 17th, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we so come it'll back be back on the, the 24th. 24th. Okay. The 24th of August is when we'll be back. It sounds like a long time, but it is only five weeks, which it's, is a long time. It sounds like a long time, but that's only because it is. So we're going to be back on, yeah, what was it? The August 24th, the 2015. The 24th, in a new studio, and we need you guys to leave us comments telling us questions we for need the your new help. season. And we need topics for the new season. We need all kinds of stuff for the new season. Because we're going to be doing everything else. We're getting it ready. We got a lot of renovating to do. A lot of stuff to change. Uh, it's still going to be the same old good show. But it's going to be different at the same time. So be ready for that. But we do need your help with topics. But I don't want to talk about that forever. Because we did that last episode. We did that last episode. Oh, so the last thing I do want to say is. If you do want more of us with Drew and Nate also go to the link in the description and jump over to the YouTube channel that is titled Nakamacast. That is our podcast. It's a weekly podcast where we talk about main about all things anime and a little bit of nerd culture tossed in here and there. And but the, it is very spoiler heavy for especially new season stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you're not into that sort of thing, you might want to skedaddle. I love doing that. <sighs> but it's on phones. If you do want to listen to it, it's on all your podcast services. But I think for, for free, you guys, for free, for you guys, the best place since you're already obviously bound to us on YouTube, the best place would probably be to jump over in the description and do it on the YouTube mm -hmm. channel. But okay, we gotta go on. Train. We We're just, talking. About, yeah, we did. That, that's never happened. No. Well, I think it might have, but not in a while. We're talking about dubbing companies today, and we're mostly gonna be talking about Funimation. Funimation. Uh, Does Viz ever dub? They used to. Pretty for sure Viz dubbed uh, Bleach. Yeah. And Nardo. I think they. Yeah, do because that. they translate manga, so I think they and I think they do dubs as well. I should probably move this up. I'm doing it. Bandai. Bandai. Who Whoa. does not dub anymore? They should. But their dubs were great, and oh my god, Sentai. Yeah. So. You know what? While we're at it, you start talking about Funimation. I'm going to look up anime dubbing companies just to make sure we're not missing any. I have the biggest love-hate relationship with Funimation. Me too. When I was a kid, or not a kid, but when I was younger, Funimation was where it was at, dude. I often I, loved Funimation. I, like, I love their dubs. Like, the Oron High School dub, the Dragon Ball dub, the Yu Yu Hakusho dub, the, um... Uh, What's another dub by them I really like? One Piece? One Piece is good. I think dub they've got really an good. amazing One Piece dub. Their, their One Piece dub is great. Uh, there's one other show I know I love their dub of. I, I, I love a lot of their dubs, you know? But lately, they've been... They've been throwing in a lot of the, I don't know, it's, it's, so uh, I'm going to sound really, we're going to, well, because I know you and I agree on this, we're going to sound really stupid when we say this. Elitist. Yeah, we're going to sound really elitist, but, and I, they've been bringing We're going to sound in, like old men. Yeah, they've been bringing in a lot of the new people, which I, you always need new people, because people want to retire, you can't have the same people do the same thing all the time, otherwise we'd have dead people acting in movies. <gasps> 
So, <gasps> uh, man, uh, I ran out of breath. So, you know, so but they're bringing in a, bu a bunch of young people whose voices, to me, all sound the exact same. Mm -hmm. You know, they all sound like, before, you know, I mean, despite what you think, you know, despite your opinion, you know, you had like Vic Bignana, then you had Todd <laughs> You had Todd Abercorn, you had Chris Sabat, you had J. Chris Michael Sabat? Tatum. Chris Sabat. Chris J. Michael Tatum. Then you had Monica Rial and uh, uh, Jeremy Lee and uh, Laura Bailey. All these people who have such, like, really diverse voices and whatnot. And I'm not saying all the voice actors that Funimation gets now recently have the bad bad voices by any means. But they just all... Bryce! Bryce Pepper. They all just sound very lame to me. They sound lame like they... Don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to emote. You know, I don't know. I think also a problem is we've gotten so used to watching anime um, in general. I like anime. Yeah. <laughs> we've gotten so used to watching anime <laughs> in Japanese now because we watch so much seasonals that I've become that guy who's kind of like, man, dubs suck. But I don't really think dubs suck. No. But anytime I see a show that's like, I, I just watch it subbed. I just always tend to lean toward the sub now, and I did not grow up like that. I used to always lean, always lean for the dub, always. See, for me, the only time I ever really want to watch a dub, uh, a dub, is if it's a show like a sat. It's it's a show that I haven't seen, but it's a show that I know I probably would like in English, and that's a show like maybe Assassination Classroom, that's gonna get dubbed, and Sunny Straight's gonna be the main is gonna be Koro Sensei. All right, Viz does not dub. They don't. They outsource. They license the show and they outsource other companies to dub. Okay, for I do. Them. I, okay, so then they don't translate manga either. They do translate manga. Oh, they do translate. Manga. Yes. Okay. Uh, that's what I'm sure about, but they don't dub. They outsource it. Cause they got a good manga. Yeah. Uh, so Funimation. I think Funimation was my favorite as a kid. Here's the thing about them. They also lately even they're. You can tell when it's a Funimation dub because they reuse the same, same voice people. actors. But that's also because they all live right there in Texas. Yeah, it's it's always the same people. Uh, next up is Four Kids. No. Yeah, we're gonna talk about it. They they dub a lot of anime. <laughs> well, if you like puns. <laughs> Actually, I'll take that back. I loved Four Kids as a kid because I'll I'll to this day even say that I love their Pokemon dub. It's very. I, don't even act like you hate it. Um, they changed his voice. Astro's now the same voice. They changed all the voices. That's true. I, I love the Pokemon dub when it's about maybe 20 episodes into the show. And why is his name Ash? That's not his name in Japanese. I, I what is it? Sato Satoshi? Satoshi, man. I don't know. Why is this Zolo in the freaking four kids dub? Exactly. I don't know. I just think that... Their Yu-Gi-Oh dub isn't bad either. Four Kids is is not good. Uh, I think we can all agree on that. And maybe we should just move on. Yeah. I don't know why you even brought it up. Yep. I should smack your head off. Up next, we're going to talk about Sentai Filmworks. They got some good dubs. I like Sentai's dubs. Unfortunately, um, I don't can't think of any off the top of my head. Didn't they do High School of the Dead? Pretty sure, yeah. Okay. I can't remember if it's if it was them or Funimation, but I'm pretty sure it was Sentai. Dude, I, I mean, I stopped watching dubbed anime so long ago that it's hard for me to remember everything that everyone dubs. But I do know that all the Sentai, when I have known that it was Sentai, I liked it. Their dubs are good. They're, they really know how to... They, mm, they, they're very choosy on the anime they get. They're either very choosy or... Because Funimation is the top one. I know they get that. the most. They get the most because they're probably the cheapest. And they do a good job. They do great dubs. They're just not lately. Um, no, they're still good lately. No, we just... I think our problem with Funimation isn't the voice actors. It's not any of that. It's... We're used to these shows in Japanese now. And so it's hard to go to the English. Yeah. It's not easy. Like, I was watching Dragon Ball Super today. And I'm so used to the Funimation dub. But I'm listening to the Japanese dub and King Kai is the one I'm listening to. And I'm like, this is not King Kai. This is not my King Kai. This guy is not nearly as funny. He seems way more serious. But then I started thinking about it, and I'm like, you know, it actually makes sense for his character. The more I'm hearing him talk. I didn't like it a lot at any at first, and I still like the English one much better. But 
it makes sense for his character to be this old master who's up on this planet who's like very strong and training Goku. He does still tell jokes. Like he didn't. That's not. They didn't make that up. But it's like. It makes more sense for him to actually have the voice he has in Japanese, and I think the only reason that I don't like it is because I'm used to the English one. I guess that's true. And it's true. the same way the other way around. You know, well, like, but can we? Like, really, if I was used to the King Kai. But can we really forgive some of the people they cast as some people? But if I was used to the King, okay, we can't forgive him for casting Bryce Pavenbrook as Aaron. I'll never forgive them ever until the day I die. Nope. Yuri Lowenthal should have been. But Yuri doesn't often act for Funimation. So it kind of makes sense, but at the same time, they should have... Attack on Titan shouldn't have been got by Funimation. Given to Funimation. It should have been given to Sentai. I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, But I need to talk about my favorite dubbing company who no longer dubs, which is Bandai. Oh, Bandai's dubs. If you don't know, Bandai did... um, Gurren! Why did I not say this for good Funimation dubs and that's Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? Obviously. I can't Great believe. dub. That's the, my favorite dub of all time. Mm, my favorite take is Bacchano. That. Oh, wait, take the back. Yeah, Bacchano, which is Funimation. Yeah, but uh, is it? I don't even remember, dude. It's been so long. Pretty I think sure. it is. But um, freaking Bandai, dude. Bandai mm-hmm. does, if you don't know what Bandai does, they do a lot, but they're mostly going to find them in the mech genre. See that wall scroll right there? Didn't have to look. See that wall thing. scroll right there? Both Bandai. I didn't have to look. You were looking at the screen. I was not. <laughs> but they're both Bandai. Bandai does a lot of mech dubs, but Bandai does a good job. Like They know who to cast for what character. A lot of it's the people who, the original company. Mm-hmm. Like like uh, Toei. Well, this is just for One Piece. That's true. And One Piece has a special case after the four kids thing. If you guys don't know, they had to Funimation had to actually bring their voice actors in and show them to the Japanese create in Toei, Toei Animation, and they had to approve them for the characters. Um, well, it was also kind of like that with the Full Metal Alchemist because Vic Mignogna said that when he was dubbing Edward Elric, that his voice is actually a lot more kid like in the in the Japanese dub. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've heard it. it uh huh. But they said they wanted to have kind of more of like a teenager feel in English. Like the people or the writer or whoever. And so that's why they got Vic to do it. And that's why that's one reason why I like I don't get too mad when they change uh, a person who has a really light voice in Japanese. They change it to really deep kind of... Goku! Yeah, voice. Because they wanted to have a different voice in America. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually... You're going to kill me if I say this. Mm. I'm getting... No, you might not. I don't like it, but I'm getting used to Goku's Japanese voice. Anyway, so let's move on. We're uh, going to have to get used to it, man. we got probably on. 200 episodes of this voice. I, mm, you're already getting to the point where I know you're going to be like, I love his Japanese voice now. I, I want I, to love it. I don't. I but, want to be able to love both versions so that I can enjoy what I'm watching. No. I no. don't want to sit there and have to not be able to enjoy Super. No. You need to open your mind. You're a person who always goes around saying that you got, you're got you open-minded about things, but you're being very close-minded about this dub. Mm. But if you want to hear us argue a lot more about that, go over to the Comicast. And what do you guys think about dubbing companies? Who's your favorite dubbing company for English? There's some that we missed. There's, uh, you know, just the shows we didn't talk about. There's a lot we could have went into about this, but we didn't do our research properly. Yeah. So Never do. That'll change next season. That's why we're going off season for so long. We're going to start doing much more research for episodes Mm -hmm. is the main reason. But let's move on to the question of the day. Okay. Question of the day is by Light in the Wind. Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. What are the pros and cons about anime cons? Are there any? Get it? Pros and cons? Well, I mean, I think the pros are really obvious stuff. You get to, I think the most obvious one is you get to meet and hang out with other people who are into what you're into, mm-hmm. and you get to meet a lot of them. Mm-hmm. And if done, if done right, you can make amazing friends that you'll have for the rest of your life. Mm-hmm. Done it. Yeah, I, I think I have as well. Uh, if How do you think I met you? If you're into, like, the YouTube or the photography, you can use anime conventions to start to build a community like Mm -hmm. I have. Why did you pause for so long? I have no idea. I I paused and I was waiting for you to do something, 
and then nobody did anything. So I was, I was like, I was think, I was sitting here just thinking, is he really just? I don't know what he's trying to do. I, was, I don't know. What I was, I was gonna make to a joke either. and be. like... I wanted you to make a joke. I was gonna make a joke and then I was like, is he waiting on me to say something? I was. It I was waiting awkward. for you to like beat me down. Be like, no. See, I don't beat you down like you beat me down. Okay. <laughs> uh, but anyway, there's a. What are the other comp pros? Um, you can buy stuff that you can't really get anywhere else. Yeah, that's true. Oh, you can do that at a, at any con. It's not anime though. Um, I don't know. I know a lot of the cons. Anime cons last twenty four hours typically. Like oh, they yeah, go through the night. I'm not a lot. Of, I know I had an a con. We'll get to that later. Um, most of them go through the night, so mm-hmm. that never ends until like from beginning there's to end. There's always of the a weekend. rave that you can go and hang out. The video there's a video game room that doesn't suck. Yeah. Uh, that's free normally. Um. Yeah, it's free for the most part. Oh, anime cons, can, if we're comparing... I didn't think she meant to compare them to comic cons. I think that's what you're doing, though. Oh, yeah. I just thought what she meant in general. Oh, okay. But, like, if we are comparing, um, a lot cheaper than mm. the comic con. Oh, my gosh, yes. It's so much cheaper. But the cons of them are a lot cheaper, but still expensive. You're going to get this at any... The thing that I was going to say... Um, uh, you're going to get this at any con, but especially at an anime con, you get a lot of stinkies. Oh, yeah, stinkers, man. Oh, Put on your nose blinders. You don't want to smell that. I mean, you got a whole rant video about it, but take a shower! Seriously. And deodorant is not a shower in a can. Mm-mm. Dakota. I don't even know what that means. It just got awkward again. Yeah. You told me that you sometimes don't shower, but then spray yourself down. I do that before work. That's what I mean. Yeah, because I'm we're gonna be at work when the store's open for like an hour. Yeah, but we have to deal with it. He doesn't smell. I'm just giving him a hard time. I do a little. I'm just giving him a hard time. It's not in any smell that he might give off is nothing compared to what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. We're talking about those I haven't showered in six months, the, dudes. The grease is dripping from my beard. Oh, I knew a guy in high school. I'm not oh, gonna I name know, names, who but who had grease? Uh, there were grease lines down his face. I know who you're talking about. Oh, oh my god! Just take a shower. It's it's literally. You don't even have to get in there that long. You rinse off. You don't yeah. even have to use soap if you don't wanna. I mean, it helps. Another con is you might die from either exhaustion or not eating. One of the two. We're never well prepared. I think we've gotten better. We got a little better. A little bit. I don't think you should ever be well prepared for a con. I think the time you go and you're too prepared is it's too cushy. You gotta you gotta have some problems come up here and there. You gotta I feel like you have to nearly die or you didn't have a good weekend. I'm clearly in my early twenties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the statement I just said will tell anyone how old I am. <laughs> I feel like you have to nearly die to have a good time. <laughs> I'm I'm in my early 20s, and I'm just like... I trained parkour for three years. You have to nearly die to have a good time. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. You can follow us right here. This is, for me, my Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Twitter. For you, it's your... Instagram and... Twitter. And Twitter. But I just found out that my Snapchat is actually Jimmy D. Richards. I tried to change it, but... Jimmy that, D. Richards. Yes. No dots or anything? It's just, just Jimmy, Jimmy D. Richards. Gotcha. I tried to change it. I might... I can't do that now. I was going to say, I might make a new one, but I got too Why many... Why not? People, because I got too many people following me already. Snap out a story and say, don't delete it yet. Say, hey, go follow this other one. And then once you've gotten a decent amount of followers, be like, post out another story that's like, I'm deleting this in two days. Go follow this one. Post out some more and more. Please don't come into this room. You don't have a recording line up. I'll switch it for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we gotta wrap the episode right. up. Uh, so yeah, that was funny. <laughs> when you share, that was his brother. When you yeah. sh- when you share this video, another reason we are moving to a new studio. Yeah. Um, when you share this video, make sure you use this hashtag. Whoa, sorry, Mike. The hashtag WD One Up. Sorry about your ears if you have headbuds in. Headbuds. Headbuds. I meant to say earbuds. Guys, stay nerdy. I gotta get out of this room. It's hot.